You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We're just going to go back and take a look at a couple of figures this week. Oh, I did miss last week's episode, or I do apologize for that, um, which is why we're going to do a double hang it, double header this week. We've got two members of the 41st Elite Corps. We have, on the left, Clone Trooper Dra and Clone Commander Gree. Um, I do only have one of, the, one of the game cards there. This is a picture of Gree. Yeah, nothing too special there. And yeah, I don't have any of the packaging, unfortunately, for these ones. Um, if I do, I couldn't find it. So, But yeah, I thought we'd take a look at both of these. They're both uh, different sculpts um, throughout the Clone Wars. Um, everyone remember the Commander Stone sculpt, which is this one here on the left. Um, this was used for a little while until it was replaced by this one, which... Um, I can't remember what clone sort of initially came came out with this sculpt. So it's, um, you know, slight changes in articulation and just overall body sculpt. I don't think there's too much drastically different between the two. Uh, you know, added articulation aside, but, you know, maybe the arms were the same. I can't remember. It's been a while. So we'll look at Clone Trooper Dra. Um... Now this guy, you just got some cool markings, you know. I, I really like that, like the little, the little Pac-Man up on the head there on the helmet. I do have him armed with the uh, with the rocket launcher, and he does have the sort of Republic little backpack. It's got a little button on it, and you can open that up. And that was a uh, a re a re release of, well, basically the same backpack that came with the Ahsoka that had a little Stinky the Hut sitting in it. And that came with with a number of figures. I think uh, Cad Bane and Danol outfit and there was a couple of others I think that came with this with this backpack. But it looks good. It's just something, you know, adds something a little bit different to the clones. Um, yeah, so this one, his head is, you know, just a helmeted head. This was one of the clones that didn't have a removable helmet. Whereas Gree, he certainly does. Um, we'll bring him in momentarily. But yeah, this was sort of yeah early days um, of articulation. There was no no torso articulation in the chest. If we can just focus, that'd be great. Um, there was simply just swivels in the wrists. Um, no ankle articulation on these ones. I think, you know, in terms of the look, I think the sculpt looks quite good. But yeah, if articulation is your thing. Also like, like the little little emblem there on the shoulder. It's almost a mix between the wolf pack and like Rex's J guys almost. But yeah, I do like I do like the green look. <clears throat> so he, he was a he was a cool addition. I was almost going to include um, the clone pilot Goji in this in this video as well, just because he has some green. But I don't think he's technically a part of the uh, 40, 41st elite. I may indeed be wrong. I've, I have been known to be wrong before in the past. Not often, but it happens. <laughs> now, interestingly, this this green. Now he's sort of the colours have changed a little bit on some of the paintwork on this figure. Um, each of those legs is ever so slightly different. And even some of the green shading throughout the rest of the figure is yeah, you know, it's almost a you know, this is almost it's all sort of all green except this side. It's almost got a sort of a bluey green tinge to it. So I wonder if it's always been like that, or whether it's just something I'm picking up now, I'm not sure. Um, 
never mind it's not a big deal again this is the uh the updated clone sculpt for the time um which brought in the hinges in the wrists and ankles and also that sort of movable torso joint and this one was lucky to have the advent of a removable helmet which is really cool so Gree's got his double mohawk I do wonder whether he carried that into his time in Revenge of the Sith which we have had you know that super camouflage Commander Gree figure and it's sort of sad seeing him in the Clone Wars like this knowing that he uh Yoda just just whips the head off very, very cleanly. Now there is a, a black series version of of Gree coming out, which is it's phase two, but it's more along the paint scheme of this guy. So it's not the camouflage. So I wonder whether Hasbro is going to use that Tim Morrison head sculpt and give him his twin mohawk. It sort of comes down in a V. Another unique feature for this figure is this is this sort of strap that sort of goes around goes around the figure's torso there I don't recall it being included on any other characters throughout the Clone Wars line so I think that was pretty unique to Gree but yeah helmet fits on he looks good it's got the blaster pistol on the holster there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do do a little bit of research into that into that paint difference, whether it's just something I haven't noticed before, or whether it's something that sort of happened to the figure over time. It does happen, you know. These figures are. Well, this is. Let's have a look at the date stamp. Two thousand and eight. So yeah, we're talking, you know, fifteen, sixteen years old now. Which is scary. But, you know, plastic, paint, that's all stuff that starts to uh, change after that period of time. But, yeah, there's a couple of figures from the 41st Elite that I wanted to share. I, if I have done reviews of these in the past, I will put a little link at the end of the video um, to my original versions. I do my best to try and find figures that I haven't reviewed in the past. Some of them are nice to just sort of reacquaint, which is the whole purpose of this. And just looking back at one of my favourite toy lines from the past, one of my favourite Star Wars toy lines, which is the Clone Wars. So yeah, I appreciate you all tuning in. This has been fun. Power of the Force Friday up tomorrow. Stay tuned for that one. And uh, yeah, we'll see you very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always. <laughs>